Hey Gemini, welcome to your love and romance reading for March 2021. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. I'm sorry, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be for love and romance, and we're going to see what's happening. If you're really tired of love readings, you're sick of them, and you wish that tarot readers would do something other than love, you came to the right channel, you just clicked on the wrong video. Okay, my dears? Um, every week I do forecasts around everything except for love. But once a month, there's a love reading, and that's what this is. So, without further ado, let's jump on in here and see what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Love and Romance. The cards kind of were not shuffling very smoothly. So sometimes that when that happens for me, um, it tells me that there's like some energy here where you're having a hard time making your mind up about something or you might be feeling that you're in an impasse with someone. Like you've made yourself clear, but they're not budging, they're not moving, and you're not budging and you're not moving. But we'll see what the cards have to say. All right, so your first card here is Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is a card that comes up when we're working really hard we're putting a lot of energy into something and this might be where the impasse is here gemini you might feel like you know what i'm really invested in this and i'm really working very hard and um you know this is taking a really long time right uh it's a whole lot of effort for just a teeny bit of progress like uh, uh a whole lot of squeezing for a teeny bit of juice and so I feel like, Gemini, some of you are in a situation where somebody's been making you feel like you have to prove yourself or like you have to show that you're sorry in some kind of way or you have to prove that like you're serious about the relationship or that you care. And it might just feel like it's this never ending situation, like you're constantly doing what you can to make this person happy. I do feel for a lot of you, Gemini, the underlying issue here. As you might be in a relationship with someone who um, this person could be depressed. They might they might be depressed or they might just kind of be going through this time where they feel kind of sad or their self-esteem might be not very high right now. And so like you're constantly feeling like you have to build them up. You're constantly feeling like you have to help them feel better or that like other people betrayed them or let them down in the past and now it's your job for some reason to erase all that and to like make up for what other people put them through and you're like this is breaking my back this is exhausting like I feel like I'm being punished for what everybody before me did in this person's life and so it might be, be becoming very difficult for you to to keep it up or to maintain it now, I also feel for some of you, it might not be in terms of like healing someone, but you might feel like you're dealing with people coming in to your life. Like those of you who are single, like maybe you feel like you've been dating people that seem to have like this very fragile ego, like they constantly need to be, you know, praised and like have the ego stroked and you're feeling really tired. Like this is just, this is too much work. It shouldn't have to be so hard right? Or even in dating, like this is just way too much work. It shouldn't have to be so hard. So I feel like you're kind of feeling stuck. Like, how do I change this? How do I, how do I shift this energy? What, what do I kind of do? So this is the energy that I feel coming into the love reading. Now, your next card here is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a card about taking action and seizing an opportunity, Okay, I, I this is so very random, so very random, and it's not going to be for every single one of you, but I feel it very strongly that there might be a conflict in your relationship because, you, you know, you, you may have uh, taken on a job that's going to be taking you away, like physically taking you away. And so maybe there's been some talk or some discussion here um, in terms of like a possible relocation. And so you're like, well, let me go out and let me see how it goes and let me get things set up. And then maybe you can come out here or, you know, maybe I'll just travel back and forth. Or maybe it's just a job where you're working a lot, like the schedule is going to be different. But for some reason, even though you're really excited about this and even though I feel it's like a good opportunity that you're taking, I feel this is kind of causing conflict in the relationship or you might be wanting to do something in terms of 
uh, your career, like a career change or some kind of investment that's causing a problem in the relationship. And Gemini, you're just really frustrated because you feel like I need this. Like if I'm going to stay in this relationship or if I'm going to stay in this situation, I need this so that I have an escape. I, I have a way to be positive. I have a way to work on myself and to feel like a sense of fulfillment, right? Like something that I can be passionate about. And so for some reason, I feel there's like some conflict here with uh, some uh, creative or career venture uh, direction that you're going in. Okay. For other ones of you, I feel like <laughs> Um, I feel like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of giggling because I, I got a visual that, that I can't maybe say here. But for other ones of you, I feel like there's a situation here where this constant like trying to make this person feel better or lift them up or stroke their ego, it's taking away your uh, arousal ability or your physical attraction even though you might have a very attractive partner or you might be dating a very attractive person, um, it's it's making it very hard for you to be uh, in that energy with this person. And you haven't been able to figure it out. Like you're still blaming yourself. Like what's wrong with me? Like this is a good person. They have a lot of good qualities. They're attractive. Why am I not feeling this passion? And I think at some point you're going to have this epiphany. You're going to go, wait a minute. Okay, this is why I don't have the attraction because this is a lot of work and I'm exhausted. And I just feel like, you know, this 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 uh, um, lack of confidence or this negativity or this, you know, uh, constant push and pull is, is just not 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 getting me excited right so I feel this is the energy some of you are dealing with and I feel like you feel very torn like you don't know what to do about it like do I wait a little bit more do I do I walk away uh, but some of you are feeling gaslit Gemini because you feel like anytime you try to approach it it gets turned around on you like well I wouldn't be this way Gemini if you didn't do a b and c and you're like oh gosh Here's another hoop for me to jump through. And so I feel like a lot of you are turning to some opportunity to just kind of escape from it. Like maybe you don't have the courage to tell this person that you're done or you don't want to see them anymore. Or you, you're not even sure yourself. You're not even sure yourself if you're done. But you're thinking that let me just kind of put some time into energy into something that makes me happy. Something that's productive. And, and then maybe I'll be able to figure out what I want to do. So I feel like you're kind of on the fence about this. Your next card here is the Queen of Swords. This might be the deal breaker, Gemini. You might be getting um, an ultimatum from somebody. They don't like what you're doing. And they might feel like, well, you're not listening to me. And so you might be in this energy where you're like, oh, gosh, well, um, you know, if that's how you feel, you're making the choice, not me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to be very honest with you, Gemini. I feel like some of you are making this choice, this decision to go in a new direction. And this partner doesn't like it, doesn't like that you're going in this direction. And so they might be giving you this ultimatum, like, you know, if, if you take that job, or if you take that opportunity, or if you begin, you know, that project or work with that person or whatever They're like I'm done I'm, I'm I'm leaving you and I'm done for good and I hate to say it Gemini but I feel some of you like when you hear that you're feeling the sense of relief like oh gosh <sighs> okay like because like you've maybe you've tried to walk away but you can't so you're like okay well the other person's making the decision um th th that's the feeling I'm feeling here right? For some of you, maybe the rules are a little bit reversed, but that's the energy I'm feeling like one person has been trying really hard and, and they don't know like they don't have the heart to give up. But then the other person is like, well, you're not listening to me and you're not respecting me and you're not doing what I want you to do. So that means you don't love me. So I'm just going to end this. Um, it's tough. This is a tough situation. I don't know what to tell you. 
this is a really tough situation, but I feel, Gemini, that ultimately you're choosing to be happy and like you're having this life lesson that you deserve to have somebody who's going to be happy for you and happy with you. Okay, for some of you, you're like watching this reading and you're like, oh, that already happened. That already happened last year or everything you're saying already happened with somebody else. If that's the case, I feel like this is coming up to tell you that you made the right choice or you made the right decision. Like it's coming up like confirmation that this is a way in which you healed a block and you cleared energy and it opened up your path for um for that happiness or for that joy and as you're following your passion as you're following your bliss as you continue to do so um you're going to meet this person i feel for those of you where this has already happened you're like whoa amethyst you're totally hitting the nail on the head but it, it's not going to happen in march it happened a while ago i feel like something is coming back full circle with what you did and the decisions that you made and I feel like there's somebody new coming in, maybe like I'm going to say between March and May. Um, but it's like the person that you manifested when you were going through the scenario that I'm talking about. Okay. Your next card here is the Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords can be feeling kind of stuck or trapped in a situation, but it has a positive message and it lets us know that the situation is not as bad as you think. You're not as stuck as you think. You're not as trapped as you, as you think. Okay. Um, it might be scary to move forward, but it's more dangerous to stand still. Right. That's the message that we get from the Eight of Swords, because look, this little thing around her, it's not around her that tight. She can very easily wiggle her way out of it. Once she does that, she can push that blindfold off her eyes and she'll see that there's plenty of room to walk forward. Plenty of room, right? Heck, she can even, you know, pull a couple of, of those swords out and take them with her as protection, as tools, right? She doesn't have to be afraid. The situation's not as bad as she thinks. But when we don't want to look at it and we're covering our eyes and we're procrastinating, that's when the energy gets, you know, more and more intense and we feel more and more stuck, more and more trapped, right? It's like, oh, I'm afraid to move forward because I'm afraid of what might be out there. Well, if you're here with your hands tied and your eyes tied and you can't see what's going on, that's more dangerous. You don't know who's going to come in. You don't know what's going to happen. Right. So it's 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 safer to start taking steps so that you can look at the road ahead and look at the path ahead. OK, so you might kind of feel like, well, I'm scared to move forward, but it's more scary to stay standing still. OK. Um, I feel for some of you, there's like the, there's this there's this guilt because you might be looking back at the person that you're walking away from or that gave you this ultimatum, like you still have compassion for them, you still feel bad for them. But at the end of the day, Gemini, we all have to choose to pick ourselves up. We all have to choose to to take steps forward, right? Um, and if you've, if you've been trying to help somebody, at some point, they have to start lifting themselves up, okay? Just like you have to overcome your challenges and you might have had people that were loving and supportive. Those of you who were lucky enough to have loving and supportive people, you still had to do the work yourself. You still had to pick yourself up. You still had to, you know, struggle with, you know, climbing up that hill. Nobody picked you up and carried you, right? You had to do it yourself. And so we all have that, right? We might have loving and supportive people in our life, but at some point, we have to do the work and you have to remind yourself of that and not feel guilty about it. OK, not feel guilty about it and don't feel guilty to be happy. I feel like this is one of the triggers that you're healing. Uh, you don't have to be you don't have to feel guilty to be happy. You deserve to be happy, Gemini. Your next card here, my darlings. Is the chariot. OK, some of you could be dealing with a cancer or somebody who has uh, cancer in their chart because this is associated with the astrological sign. OK, but 
this is a major arcana card so when the major arcana cards come up this is a significant new chapter that we're coming into like a chapter that's defining us the situation that we're dealing with is directly connected with what we came here to learn with what we came here to accomplish with uh you know a significant you know closing out a significant past life um cycle or contract okay and so the chariot here is about moving forward and it's about independence and it could be about moving forward on your own or by yourself and gemini maybe in the past you've just been one of those people that when you've moved on from one relationship you went on to another relationship uh, kind of quickly some people are very like very gifted in that way or they they kind of have like this this luck or this flow where it's like you know there there isn't a whole lot of waiting in between relationships and if you've had that pattern the chariot card tells me that you're like you know what i want to fly solo for a while for those of you uh who've been single for a long time um, or who have been in a relationship that's just been really, really draining you. The chariot card is like you're taking some time to uh, get like a, a, a breath of fresh air. Like kind of, kind of shake that energy off and go in a new direction. There could be a relocation here. Chariot can sometimes be a relocation card for me here. But I feel overall what you're realizing is that you're wanting more independence in your relationships moving forward. And you're wanting to be with a partner who is independent, right? Who has their own stuff going on. And so that's what some of you might be manifesting here. I also feel here with the chariot, Gemini, that a lot of you are beginning to feel less guilty um, in relationships or dealing with other people because you're realizing that when you have had to be like firm or like, you know, tell somebody that, you know, they're not stepping up or they're not giving you what you want. It's like you're having this epiphany where you're like, wait a minute, I'm not being mean. That's not being mean. That's not having a temper. That's me standing up for myself. That's me setting my boundaries, right? And if I'm with a partner uh, that hears me and respects me, right? I don't have to get upset. Like I'm getting upset because I'm getting frustrated. So maybe, maybe there's a better way I can deal with getting frustrated, but I have a right to, you know, have certain, you know, requests or requirements in a relationship. Okay. So last month's reading, you guys had this reading about somebody who really sees you, who hears you, um, who, you know, who's there for you, who supports you. And so some of you, like this is the month that you're going to really, really, really give yourself permission to have that. Okay. Uh, I think some of you are struggling and having a hard time because you may already be in this relationship and the and what came up in the February love reading might be somebody that, that you met while you're in this relationship that we're talking about now and you want to be with that person but you feel very guilty about it sometimes people come into our life to open our eyes and to help us realize that we deserve better than what we're putting up with okay we deserve to be treated better than what we're putting up with the only time it's i'm going to use the word wrong and some of you might not like the fact that i'm using the word wrong the only time it's wrong it's if it's wrong is when like we lie to our partner or if we deceive our partner or if we try to keep two people going at once for me and in my opinion that is wrong if you have a commitment to someone you have to honor that commitment and if somebody else comes along and you feel pulled to that person you have to make a decision if you want to be involved with that person, you have to end the current relationship. And that can be scary when you don't know where the new person will lead. And so some of you are feeling guilty because you're like, well, I want to leave this relationship. But is it because of this other person? And Gemini, and I, I feel that's the person that maybe came up in the February reading for you guys. But the chariot card is telling me that you guys are doing this in a very logical way. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to take some time and focus on me. I'm going to let myself air out from this 
relationship and from what I've been through and I will stay friends with that other person I may keep tabs on them they may keep tabs on me but once I have this energy like shaken off me and I I'm kind of settled and I know where I'm going and what I'm doing I'm going to pursue that relationship with that other person right so some of you uh need to give yourself permission right and not feel guilty because I feel that for a lot of you Gemini's even though this person came in and helped open your eyes, I feel you behaved. Like, I feel like you didn't cross the line. Like, you were still faithful to this other relationship. And so you're giving yourself credit for that. And you're giving yourself permission to go in this new direction. Really powerful message here. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks it might resonate with you more. Or bring in a little extra information. Or I should say months, because this is a monthly reading. Or your Venus sign. I know when it comes to love and romance, a lot of people uh, feel like their Venus sign really resonates. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to go to Calendly.com slash Amethyst Angelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. I will also have the link in the description. And guys, don't forget to watch the weekly forecasts. I know love and romance is really super uh, important to a lot of people. It's, it's a natural part of being human. It's a part of the human experience. But don't forget about all the other aspects of life. Be sure to check out the weekly readings too. Bye, my darlings.